You're watching an episode of Spirits People Live with Johnny Michelson. Well, hello there. There we go. Live on a Spirits Tuesday. Let's see what happens. We've got some Bowmore, we've got some peat. I have some tasting notes. And oh, we have the first couple of folks joining. What's going on, guys? The Whiskey Scoop and Whiskey Sorensen. There is a uh, whiskey name trend happening right here, followed by Whiskey Whims. What's going on, man? And Whiskey Novice. <laughs> All right, if the fifth person joining also has whiskey in the name, we're just on a fucking roll here. Let's see, we're gonna add Stuart. He is today's special guest. Ah, Jazz, what's going on, man? Got Jazz over on the East Coast. Hello. Ah, there he is. How's it going? What's going on, man? Not bad, just nervous, like I said. <laughs> ah. Don't worry, man. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying not to. I've, I've had a few beforehand in the air. Uh, the, the missus has got me a little bit drunk. To, well, not drunk, but she got me a little uh, tipsy <laughs> to help with it. <laughs> what is the worst that can happen? Uh, probably me uh, making a fool of myself. <laughs> ah, well. I'll, 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 I'll try to make that happen then. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> not bad. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Um, thanks, for, thanks for joining. No, no bother. And cheers for the uh, the drams, by the way. The um, samples I got them today. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look at that. So Beautiful I'm, uh, tubes. Oh, they're tubes. amazing. I've never seen a. I've never really seen tubes like this before. Where did you get them? Um, I've been uh, I've been buying a bunch of different ones. I'm trying to experiment with with the best way to send samples. And uh, I think the the vials are kind of because they're they're long and thin. It's easier to put in like a flat mailer. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, trying to trying something out. I'm trying to get something that's a little bit longer and a little bit thinner, because then you can put it in right. a, a cheaper, cheaper uh, shipping. <laughs> yeah, easier through the door as well. I know. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, where whereabouts uh, whereabouts are you in the world? I'm assuming you're up north. Yes, north. Um, I'm Falkirk, which is right in the middle of Glasgow and Edinburgh. It's about twenty thirty minutes each side. All right. So I'm pretty smack bang in the middle of everything. Solid. Do you have yeah. any? Um, do you have any distilleries um, around you? Uh, Rosebank. Rosebank's opening back up in uh, 2022. I think it closed down on the year of my uh, birth, which was 1995. Uh, so that's opening back up. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, and other than that, not, not really. Not not near. There's Glasgow. Obviously got Glengoyne and that. They're all nearby, but that's. Uh, well, shout out to Glasgow, there we go. Shout out Glasgow Colin. Yeah, that's about uh, 40 minutes away going, going from me, so. All right. Cool, man. Yeah. So, um, you also sent me some samples. Yep, which, sure did. Uh, which I have been uh, sipping on. I have my uh, tasting notes. Ah, nice. That's, uh, that's extensive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I follow this, uh, this cheat sheet here from... Uh, WSET. So this this kind of helps me put good notes together. Um, All right. It definitely helps because I've been for a long time just kind of just put my nose in the glass and just like throwing stuff um, on paper, which which is great and it's a it's a lovely way to do it. But I've found that it's really hard for me to compare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't follow yeah. any kind of yeah. I never followed like a system. So like I would look back at some old notes and like. It's like, what the hell is this? Like the rubber from sixth grade. Like, I can't even, like now I can't remember what that smelled like. But like at the time, it reminded yeah. me of something. And it's like, yeah, it was it was a little bit off. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to try to be a little bit better on that. <laughs> uh, someone on Instagram, um, the warm tub, Matt, he said uh, something smelled like his uh, his grandfather's attic. And I was like, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> I wonder what that smells like. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to. It's hard to explain, and like I guess 
so you've you've seen some of my previous uh, previous uh, lives, uh, so you know that I've taken these. I've taken a couple of courses um, at WSET, and a lot of the stuff that they they teach you is that if you taste something, you should be able to explain it to someone else, and they right. get a good idea of what it is. And that's the whole point. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good info. So yeah, so that that kind of system helps me put stuff together, and it considers like. Uh, when you think about the char and stuff like that, if you're trying to explain to someone that it's been aged in the barrel, you can explain it by putting like oak and char and stuff like that in right. your notes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of fun things that you can you can play with. Yeah, so I think I need I think I need to uh, start following a system because I tend to just drink it, I kind of compare other people's notes just to kind of yeah. get my mind going, and then I don't really write much down. I just end up drinking it, trying it, and go, oh, that tastes like that, and I try and remember it for next time. And then next yeah, time yeah. when I try and bring it up, I'm like, oh, what did I say the last time? I'm not sure. <laughs> so it'd be good to go back and it'd be good to kind of like have a history of what, what you've got. So that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I should definitely write it down. Yeah. It definitely it definitely helps, like even if it's just a couple of notes. Um, yeah. But I guess you, you remember because uh, you are documenting your uh, reviews now on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. So, if, if it's on YouTube, I can look back and see what I've said about it. So I don't trip myself up in the future. <laughs> Exactly, man. Like you're, you're going to be right as as your previous self. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that's the thing with the uh, obviously with whiskey and with uh, spirits. It's the same with bourbon. You can come back to it, and uh, maybe some time in the bottle, you might not enjoy it after a while. So your your opinions can change on the on the drink, can it? So it's good yeah. to have a kind of it's good to have like a, a previous record of what you did think of it at the time. Yeah. No, absolutely. So there's um, there's quite a few people joining here. So I just want to like take a second and 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 say thanks for everyone for joining. There's a comment here from Jazz saying, I should offer an online basic class to teach people how to taste. Um, just hang in there for another uh, couple of weeks or so. There's there's something in the works. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll say as much as that. Uh, cool. All right. Stuart, we have, yep. we have a mission. Let's do it. We have a mission, so we need to um, we need to taste these two Beaumorts. So talk a little talk a little bit about what what they are first of all. So you sent me two. Yeah. So the uh, the, the first one I, I sent you was the Devil's Casks, and uh, I poured these downstairs, and I can't remember which one was which. But by looking at, it, I can tell from the color which one's which. You, so you should be good. able to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did review this this one on uh, YouTube, and I think at the time I said it was. It didn't have any added colouring, but I think it does. However, it's non-chill filtered. It's been done in Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. Uh, so we should get a lot of fruits, a lot of, kind of dark dried fruits in it oh, yeah. um, fr fr from the sherry. Uh, and the little story about it is that the uh, people of Beaumore chased the devil round the Beaumore church. And they chased him down to the distillery. And he hid in a cask or a barrel and he escaped, uh, escaped Beaumore and escaped the villagers. So that's the story <laughs> behind it. I can't say it's 100% accurate. They might be lying, but <laughs> you never know. That's a whole other level of marketing right there. Well, that's it, exactly. <laughs> um, I did actually, the first time I tried this, I took it up Ben Nevis. I uh, climbed Ben Nevis with my friend, and we opened this up there, and it was one of the best whiskies I've ever tasted because I was up a hill, because <laughs> I'd climbed so high for it. Oh, man, yeah. Man, that's going to be like a, a well-worth treat at the end. Yeah. It was it was a good treat. Oh man, it's uh, fifty fifty six point seven percent. So I've got some water. I don't usually add water much, but uh, I'll probably add a little bit just to see how it changes it up. Always, ah. always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as sophisticated. I have a glass of water with a plastic straw. <laughs> uh, same thing. Does the same. Yeah, yeah, it does the same thing. <sighs> so just um, so I t I did um. I did taste them like quite, so I nosed them both, and then I tasted yep. them both, and I think like, I think it's just obvious like a lot of there's a lot more complexity in this one, like the devil's um, the devil's cast. Yeah. Um, and I would definitely say like a lot of the things that I didn't actually realize there is in um, is finished in the um, uh, sherry casks, but like I put down sherries and cloves, stone fruits, um, sultanas, oh yeah, uh, caramelized apples, like a lot of that stuff that's like. It all makes sense. 
Yeah, I think the um, the, the caramelised note. I mean, when I tried it on YouTube, I think I remember saying um, it was it was like coming out a, a sticky toffee pudding coming out of the yeah. oven and then putting like hot caramel sauce over it. Oh, uh, just that that's kind of what it reminded me of. Uh, the, the, yeah, I was I was gonna say like the peat on both of these are quite light. Yeah, there's not a lot of I don't know what the PPM is on them, but there's not a lot. It's the, the sherry influence on the Devil's Cask, especially, is is more dominant. Uh, the Black Rock is done in oak casks, and it's only forty percent ABV, so that might be the lack of complexity that you you were saying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can definitely, I don't know, people can see the glass. It's quite, it's quite oily, it's quite viscous. It has a very nice kind of texture to it. Like the mouthfeel is really nice and dark and you really get a lot of those like darker, darker fruits. And also it just kind of, it does, it's, it just kind of lingers. Oh yeah, it lasts, it lasts a while. It's, it's quite a long finish, it's really nice. Yeah. And actually, you get a lot of, like, actually on the finish, you get a lot of those uh, cherries with a little bit of that peat. Yeah, there's a little kind of a wood smoke, I'd say, at the, the end. Like you said, you're getting a lot of, kind of, I'm, I'm getting dried fruit um, on the palate initially. Yeah. Like I said, st sticky toffee, a real sweetness, caramelized, caramel, real sugary. Uh, it's just, I, I feel like it's just a real sticky dram. That's, that's the way I'll describe yeah. it, it's sticky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite thick. For sure, that makes a lot of sense. There's even some um, some leather. It's a little bit like it definitely feels. It definitely has a lot of those kind of darker, darker notes. But then at the same at the same time, like on the nose, it has kind of that fresh. It's almost like a fresh, fresh apple. Like it's quite refreshing on the nose. Like alongside, like it's just really, really complex. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's quite like with the freshness. It's quite. Clean, clean cutting on the nose. Mm. I wouldn't say it's. Uh, I wouldn't say it agitates the nose, even though it's. What did I say? Fifty six point seven percent. That you're yeah. not, not getting a lot of the alcohol burn. I mean, I can stick my nose right in that. Yeah, it's super, super balanced. Um... But this yeah. was definitely two thousand eighteen. This was probably my favourite jam. Uh, I thought it was just. A standout drama, really, really do enjoy it. I still enjoy it, and I'll show you how much I've got left compared to the Black Rock. Um, I keep trying not to drink it because <laughs> I like it so much. <laughs> so I've got that much left in the Devil's Cask, and you can tell the difference with the Black Rock. Yeah. And I've had the uh, Black Rock longer, so. Oh, man. This is a lovely dram. So this is, um, I was telling you earlier that like, I haven't really, I've had one Beaumont before as like, and I, I don't remember yeah. like, exactly what that was. Cause there was, it was at a time where I was like dabbling very early on in, in scotch and I was like, Oh, I'll try some PD stuff. And, and one was a Beaumont and it's like, nah, I just don't get it. And that's like, yeah, it goes back. But now it's, now I just freaking love it, man. Like it's, it's just a whole nother level of, of complexity that I wasn't able to, appreciate i guess at, at that time like because i was i was just drinking american Naive. Tea, and yeah. a lot of it was like very heavy on the on the sweetness and now i think the palate just changes and and yeah. now i definitely appreciate stuff like this a lot more than than i would have like a couple of years back i think with these type of whiskey sometimes it's, it's hard to see by the the kind of the power of it the, mm. whether it be the peat or whether it be the smoke and some people get put off by it but once you get yeah. past that it's um, my only quarrel with built Beaumont, and I, it doesn't make much of a difference, but they do tend to add colouring to everything, and they, they don't really need to because their drams are good. Um, and the the colouring doesn't it doesn't affect the, the taste at all. But it's, I just don't see the need for adding colouring. That's just that's just me. But. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a yeah. It's it's a shame, and I guess like consumers right now will will kind of. They'll kind of frown upon upon that, I guess. Like a lot of a lot of people are a little bit more picky about that kind of stuff. I mean, like a little bit of color, like the, these guys probably do, is not going to hurt it. Like, but if you drink yeah. like super dark, 
rum where there's so much color added like it's it's almost opaque like you're going to start to taste that kind of bitterness yeah um but yeah there's there's i mean it doesn't really affect you wouldn't be able to pick it out in, in no you wouldn't be able to tell i think uh, i can't remember i think it was a whiskey vault done a, a taste and i don't know if you've ever seen them on youtube they've done a taste in a color mm -hmm. and non-color and it was pretty good and they couldn't really tell the difference in some of them when they done it blind uh, Whiskey Sonson just said, "How's the Devil's Cask compared to the fifteen-year-old Darkest?" Mm. Uh, the fifteen-year-old has nothing on the uh, the Devil's Cask, in my my opinion. The fifteen-year-old is an okay dram. Uh, I wouldn't buy a bottle of it. I think it's I think it's average, but I wouldn't buy a bottle of it. Uh, however, this this is just it's a kick-ass dram. <laughs> I just love it. That's me. I think it's a brilliant dram. Nice. Got more people joining here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're drinking Beaumore. We're drinking uh, drinking Pete during uh, during the Isla Festival. Actually, um, I was checking it out. It's like, oh my gosh, it goes on forever. It goes on until That's... the second of June. It's just it's just like the uh, it's just like the finishes. It goes on and on and on. It's it's, it's a good idea. It's good good good, good to get people to the uh, the island and that, and get people around the distillery. So just I just need to get to visit there. Yeah. I, I'm, it's on my list now because I was, I was, I've been following a lot of um, a lot of people on Instagram. Is like doing videos around. There was a guy earlier at Lafroig and he was smoking a cigar. He's standing there drinking. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love a cigar right now. <laughs> it, it put my nerves to ease. Oh uh, yeah. All right. What are we like seeing here? Uh, uh, at the drink cast, you have to add color to make the volume. Yeah. I mean, that's the primary primary reason for adding color is, is brand consistency and consistency across uh, batches and releases and stuff like that. But my, I mean, my, issue, my issue is you, you, you get a dram and you try it, and yeah, your first initial impression of looking at it, the coloring is going to say, oh, look at the color of that. That must be like an old or a, a nice tasty whiskey. Look at the color. However, once you try it and you think the color's got nothing to do with it, people are going to make up their own mind and be like, you know what, this color is just all the piffle like why why am i drinking this yeah yeah i think um I actually did, like back to uh, back to the, the kind of educational piece it's like well they do they do say that you should have a quick uh note of the color so you do look at uh the intensity of the color so like this would be like a light amber but it's it's like such a small point out of the assessment of an entire spirit because like the color is one of the things yeah. that like you can just mess with it and like it's, yeah. it's not going to say anything like rum is the one of the biggest categories where color is like it the whole thing is defined by colors like right. you got like white rum you got gold rum you got dark rum i was like well it doesn't say anything this is like something that they put out there so there's a massive right. kind of change at the moment where they're trying to like recategorize oh, really? everything um so it's more like whiskey you have like the single single malts and blended scotch and like, all those kind of like more specific. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't know that about. I don't know that about rum. Rum. Um, I, I don't know too much about rum to be honest. It's not something I, I tend to drink. Uh, I'm just a plain and simple. I usually just drink whiskey and a uh, Guinness. <laughs> oh man! But I can't wait to try this uh, mezcal. That, man. <laughs> man, I love a they've, good Guinness. <laughs> yeah, they've got on the box a, on the eye a deep mahogany uh, color, but I mean it doesn't matter because it's added coloring. Hello, yeah. Matt. Uh, Hello, what works so can't hang around. <laughs> Fee! Oh shit, our friends are. Um, <laughs> you're, you're on a plane over Mexico, probably going back to New York. Cheers, guys. Be safe. Uh, I've added a little water, but I, I, I don't think it does much to it. For me, it's, it's perfect without the water. Yeah. Yeah, I had um, I added a little dash of water just before um, we hit the live button here, so this is already. Already opened up a little bit. I'll say the um, so the black rock. I'm onto the black rock now. I want to want to leave the other one for a bit. So the black rock you're saying is a um, the travel exclusive. Yeah, it's the uh, travel exclusive. But I think I think you can tend to buy these online now. Um, but it okay. originally was a travel exclusive. Uh, it took over for oh, I can't remember the name, but it took over for a, a previous whiskey that they had on the travel exclusive, and this one. It's it's an okay dram. I bought it because I was curious, and it was quite cheap, and it yeah. was a liter. Uh, but I, I wouldn't buy it again, and I, I don't think it's 
don't think it's got much on the devil's cask either. Uh, but, but like I said, I just bought it to kind of try it, kind of piqued my curiosity. But it's, it's an okay dram. That's, that's about as much as I can say. It's an okay dram. I would, I would say, I mean, I, I would agree with you. I think it's, it's, yeah, it's quite simple and 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 maybe one dimensional and stuff like that. But it's like if you yeah. were completely new to Isla whiskies. This here would be like the perfect entry because it's like it's really lightly peated. It's kind of non offensive. It's all like the stuff I got on the nose was um was a pineapple and elderflower, a little bit of digestive biscuits. So it's like it's a quite easy approachable drink if you're trying to like dip your toes into the peat. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. I don't think there's it's not too offensive with the peat. Um, and like you said, there, there are quite, there are some fruity notes there. Mm. I'd maybe even go sit to see like, like a cut grass, maybe fresh grass. Mm. But yeah, it's, if, that's the thing. It's 40%. It's like you said, it's quite one, uh, one dimensional at 40%. There's not much going on with it, but it's not, I wouldn't throw it away. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't kick out of the bed if it farted in the bed. Oh no. If you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean like, I'll, I'll drink all of this. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Beginners loving whiskey is asking if we have time to discuss the Lafroig lore. So I've never tried it. Um, I don't know about you. Uh, I think I tried it. I was at the um, distillery uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, and I think I tried it there. From what I can remember, it was it was it was a nice jam. Uh, okay. I don't think I'd buy buy one. Uh, I think there was the card day release, they called them. I think they bring out one every year. And uh, I think the, the one that that year was slightly better than the lower. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion, obviously. I don't right. know if he's tried it, if he's what he thinks of it. Yeah, I've, um, I saw they're releasing the uh, drum. The drum. Is it released already, or are they releasing it? Uh, I think they're releasing the, the, the drum, which is the non-committee release, and obviously they've already released the uh, committee release. Mm. Uh, but, but once again, the, the, the big committee releases for me are, are a market employee. Uh, some of them can be good, but it's it's just a marketing, marketing yeah, thing, yeah. really. Uh, yeah. I tried the Kelpie, the original Kelpie, and I thought that was amazing. But even their 10-year-old is their best whiskey, really. Well, one of their best whiskeys, so... There's no point in forking out all this money for these committee releases when you can just buy a 10-year-old. It's absolutely right. amazing. It's an outstanding 10-year-old. I don't know if you've ever tried it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it was part of the flight I tried a couple of years back. Um, but yeah, the only... So I tried the Ugedal just the other day. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, that was I, was... I was quite impressed with that. It was really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I think like... Again, like PD stuff, and 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 it's not because I don't like it. It's just like I never really think about trying it. So I was at a bar, yeah, yeah. It's literally right in front of me. So it's like I'll I'll have it. I'll try it. <laughs> I think definitely if you if you ever get the chance to maybe buy a bottle or get like a, a little sample bottle. Sorry, the cat's here and he's distracting. Mm -hmm. uh, if yep. you ever get like a bottle, do try the ten year old because it's it's I think it's one of the best ten year olds out there. I mean, and it's even for our beg. It's it's, it's an amazing release. I tried their uh, their twenty three year old, which was one of the best whiskies I've ever tried. But I'd still oh, wow. like go to the ten year old because yeah. it's the twenty three year old's about four hundred pound. So yeah, the whiskey games is saying uh, I think that's is that Matt. I think Matt's saying he's the Corey Vrecken is excellent. The Corey Vrecken is a good whiskey. Mm. Uh, but like like I keep going on about the ten year old for the price, you can't argue with right. it. Plus you can get get it in the shops. So um, beginners loving whiskey is asking any art. Hard big recommendations. So actually, the one thing I tried at uh, Whiskey Live was the Anoa or whatever, however mm. you pronounce that. Anoa, yeah, Anoa. Um, yeah, that was that was really good. I really really enjoyed yeah. that. So I I would recommend that um, to to try out of the Hard big range. Uh, Ugda was was nice too, uh, but that's it. I I haven't tried yeah. much else. I think they uh, say beginners, whis beginners loving whiskey, the 10 year old, if you're, if you're going to try an Ardbeg, definitely start with the 10 year old. Mm. Um, but yeah, the, the Ugadal, like you say, is okay, and the um, Anoa is nice. Yeah. The, the, whis the whiskies are good. I've, I don't think I've had uh, a bad Ardbeg. I just think the committee release is a bit 
just get money off people really right is it uh, what's the do you know what the price points are for um those releases versus the the 10 um so i think i might be wrong actually but i think the committee release I feel like the committee release was 95. It's either 95 or 195. I might be way off. I think it may have been the higher one. I think it may be 195. I'd need to check it up. But the uh, 10 year olds you can get it for about 45, 50 pounds, really. So, okay. Um, and like I said, it's, a, it's an outstanding. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Cats on Instagram. Here we go. I know. <laughs> Yeah, the Whiskey Sonson brings up a good point there. Ardbeg 10, the Lefroig 10, and the Kalua 12. Uh, that, that's the thing for me when you go to these supermarkets and they have their base standard whiskies. Um, they're there for a reason. They make them these statement whiskies because mm. they want people to get introduced to their whiskey, and these are the ones that are usually that good to get people yeah. into them, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, um, so a whiskey live, actually, something I did try was um, Port de Skeg. And um, they had some really, really nice, really nice uh, bottles. One was a 28, 28 year old Lafroy. Right. It was outstanding. I, I really, yeah. really love that. Um, unfortunately, it was 300 pounds or something. It's like, nah, it's a little bit steep. A lot of money. Just a, just a little bit steep. <laughs> it was I've got really a, delicious, though. I've got a, a Lafroy. 27 year old and i need to send you a dram of that because it's it's outstanding oh wow um it's not it's like it's not peated and it's obviously been there for 27 years um i think it was cash strength but it's brought it down to maybe about 45 or 43 percent i can't remember uh, because it's been in there for so long for 27 years so i'll send you a dram of that at some point as well nice that would be awesome uh so yeah the guy from uh, the guy from Portis Cake, um told me what was in the different the different bottles right because yeah it's, it's not yeah it's not on their um their brand doesn't include uh, where the where the casks are from right um but yeah it was uh Lefroy. and then there was a what was there was a younger one it's like a a younger maybe it was a Kalila or something like that so i think yeah was Kalila, a, yeah was a well a younger one yeah, I don't know too much about Porter Skate, actually. I've only just recently seen them from being on Instagram and that. I've mm. only just seen them being about. I've never actually ever seen them before Instagram, which is funny. Yeah, it was, it was, I, I, I hadn't seen the brand until I went to the Whiskey Live, um, in London. Right. So yeah, it was, it was completely news to me. It's like, oh, what do you have here? And then it was like, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. S serve it up, sir. <laughs> What's your um? What's your opinions on the uh, the Black Rock on the palette? So, on the palette, so my my tasting notes were like very light, um, light lightly peated. Um, there was some fresh pear, some pineapple, and some ginger, and then there was um, it kind of all rounded up with with elderflower, which I think is is kind of like. In better words, is is the one thing that kind of put the whole thing or in in the blender, like the elderflower. Right. All of a sudden, like as soon as I smell that, it's like everything is elderflower, and all the yeah. other ones I think were just nuances of that. Um, but yeah, it was. But yeah, the assessment, like in 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 my opinion, is that is yeah, it's, it's quite simple. It's not there's like very little complexity, and it's a little bit one dimensional. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's. I think it must be a young whiskey as well. Yeah, um, I can't remember. Some, someone was saying in the chat uh, that when you get the kind of clean cut grass yeah. smells, that, that tends to point to being a younger whiskey. I can't remember who said it now. Um, you can also, yeah, the, you don't get a lot of, like there's hardly any oak or char or any, right. kind, of, any kind of like hints of, of barrel aging. Like it's, it's very, yeah. very light. Like you may be getting a little bit of vanilla and that's it. That's all from the barrel that I get. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's probably super young. Yeah, that's that's like, like you said. That's you're not getting any flavour from the the barrel because it's not aged at all. It's not had any time to absorb it. So uh, my my main thing that I get from it is a kind of sulphur um, and kind of sea salt. But I, I don't think there's much standing out on the the palate. Uh, I'll need to definitely. I'm going. In fact, I'm going to pour myself a little bit more. 
because mm. I want to see I want to see if I can pick up this elder flower because <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a good spot. Let's see if yeah, I can get a little bit of this. Yeah, it's just a little bit, little bit floral. Right. It's also like the like the elderflower is like as soon as you you have elderflower, if you have like a a gin and elderflower, I tend to like not being able to taste a lot of the gin. Like the elderflower is just like an all-consuming, overpowering, uh, overpowering uh, profile for me. And that was all of a sudden as soon as I kind of picked up on that, it's like. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. It's, it's just like this one thing, and all the other things are like not really there. It's like imaginary. Um, yeah, now that now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if it's just the the, the placebo effect, but there is something <laughs> definitely uh, really botanically there. There is something. Yeah, it's quite botanical, isn't it? Quite yeah, like you said, rich, overpowering. Yeah, it's almost um, it's almost it almost feels like. It has sugar added to it, which I'm pretty, like, 100% sure there's no added sugar. Yeah, but with Bomo, it with the, like you never know. <laughs> yeah, well, with Bomo and the color, and you never know. Is it a, um, is it a blend? No, it says a single malt. Yeah, so there's no, there's no sugar. They would be. Uh... I still don't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Nah, I know, I know what you're saying. Uh, but yeah, for forty percent, uh, it's, it's like I said, it's an okay dram. It's not something you, it's not something I'd reach for if I'm if I'm wanting a bow more. Mm. I'd, I'd definitely go for the Devil's Cask. Oh yeah. Um, but I try not to go for it too much because of how, how much I love it. That's it. Yeah. And what what did you pick up uh, the Devil's Cask for? What, how much was that? So I got it on auction. Um, for a hundred and fifteen uh, pound, and I don't know. I think it. I think originally it might have been an American release. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, but yeah, a hundred and fifteen pound. It's not got an age statement or anything, but I'd I hazard a guess saying it's it must have some eighteen year old or something in there. Mm. For for me, the 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 flavours coming through, uh, and the complexity of it, I just can't see it being younger than eighteen, or maybe. I can't see it being younger than eighteen for me. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely. Or having like, having eighteen in it. Based on the based on all of the, the, the flavor profiles kind of coming through and the complexity I say the complexity more than anything and the finish is like yeah, it's it's easily that age. The missus uh, dad actually bought it first. Um and I just got a little bit jealous and decided to buy it. <laughs> and um <laughs> It turns out he didn't even like it. I let him try it, and he didn't even like it. So he's he's got a kind of a bad uh, relationship with Bowmore. He doesn't tend to go for them, oh, uh, right. which is a shame. But each to their own. I think it's good that it's non chill filtered. Uh, that's always that's always a tick. Yeah, that's good. And definitely, it must be cash strength. Fifty six point seven percent. It's it's a lot. It is a lot, and I would say. Yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense to dilute anything down? Like they wouldn't be able to produce something that's a lot higher than that on Isla anyway. So it's like if they'd added water, it'd be like point one percent or something to get yeah. to get it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah it, it's I would say it's cast strength. Oh, the tote bag as well. Um, this is uh, this is actually an awesome idea, by the way. Oh, sweet! There it is. I I think that's such a brilliant idea. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does it on Instagram or any other kind of whiskey person or spirit drinker does it because it is such a good idea I was saying to my uh, my girlfriend I take a lot of drams out to her dad's or around to her dad's dad or papa yeah. um, and I usually just take the random plastic bags but now I've got a perfect bag to mm. take my whiskeys round on mm. and they won't uh, they won't burst the bag so it's brilliant it's, it's honestly a great little uh, addition to my, my collection so thanks a lot for that yeah no worries and and speaking of, you and I also have to we have to pick a winner. Ah we'll yes. It. We'll do it in a few minutes. Um but yeah, we there's there's a weekly winner, as always, of, of the tote bag. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. It was uh Yeah, it's honestly awesome. I would say when 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 you sent it to me, I was like, Oh, there's gonna be a bag that's gonna sit in the cupboard, um and probably maybe use it for shopping now and then. 
But then when I actually got it and I realised how sturdy it was, because it's a sturdy little thing, I was like, this will be excellent for taking over whiskey bottles to people's houses and things like yeah. that if I'm going out. So even if I'm going out to take some pictures or whatever, it's a brilliant little, little addition to carry about. Because last time I was <laughs> I was um, walking through these uh, this little uh, park, this kind of nature reserve near mine, and I was walking through with a, a Tesco bag with a couple of whiskey bottles in it, so I must have looked like a right alcoholic walking through a woods <laughs> in my joggies and Tesco bag. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so a lot of uh, a lot of people, I I don't know if it's unfortunate or not, but like a lot of a lot of followers that I have are are are, are male. So right. whenever yeah, yeah. whenever whenever. I guess we just drink more and, 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 and find pleasure in watching other people drink. Um, I think it's, it's I think as well for a, it's probably the, the, the social as well not a social aspect but the way society is as well like women seen like seen as drinking and that is kind of you know what I'm talking <laughs> yes. about they, they should they shouldn't be drinking alcohol they shouldn't be drinking whiskey like there's a some people think it's that that's what I think maybe that some people think in their oh, sense really? they'll be like oh I don't want to do this I don't want to do that because what will people think of me. Yeah, um, but that's just <laughs> how it is. That's what I think, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I think yeah. So, so what I was going to say is that um, so because a lot of um, a lot of the followers are and, and the people who join the Spirits Tuesday are guys. If they win a bag, the first thing that happens is that their girlfriends or wives steal the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's true. There's, that a, lot happen, of, yeah. there's a lot of uh, shopping bags and nappy bags out there. That's um, that's the <laughs> so yeah you're you're one of the lucky ones for now <laughs> yeah oh, i've got beginners loving whiskey it's saying hey watch it <laughs> no all i meant was all, all i meant in that sense was they might find it harder to show that they're drinking whiskey because they might think that they've got that perceived perception about them yeah um but, but i'm not saying women shouldn't drink whiskey just saying that some some people maybe women and says like if my missus was drinking whiskey she wouldn't want to tell people she's drinking whiskey she might think oh someone may think less of me because i'm drinking whiskey or they might think oh. i'm an alcoholic because i'm doing videos stuff like that do you yeah. know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> he's putting me on the spot <laughs> oh yeah this took a turn like I've you're dug, dig, dug a hole. your own grave right now digging a big I'm hole just letting you go. <laughs> my, my missus is just looking at me saying shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. You're making a fool of yourself. There we go. Yep, easy enough. Easy done. <laughs> I didn't have to do much. That's great. Not at all. <laughs> all right, Beginners Loving Whiskey is, is asking, do we accept whiskey to review? Uh, not really. These are not like really official reviews, um, but I'll accept whiskey at any time. <laughs> I, uh, think, um, <laughs> yeah, I think... Yeah, I think... I wouldn't accept it to review, but I'd happily uh, share. Um, so I'd happily swap whiskey with people. Oh, it's yeah. better than just it's better than just getting whiskey and not sending anything in return on it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's about, true. I send a lot of as I as I was saying in the beginning with the with the vials. Like I've I've I bought a bunch of different ones because I'm trying to figure out like what's the best, what's the best, safest, and easiest to ship. Um, yeah, because obviously shipping is a is a big challenge um yeah, it's yeah. not necessarily legal <laughs> yeah yeah that's it so uh, yeah you have to you have to be yeah you have to be careful but um obviously it's possible i, I need to uh, get some of these and send out some bigger drams because i think the drams that i send you are slightly well probably a bit smaller than that so i don't know how much that holds is that five cl uh it's four is it four yeah, yeah so i think i gave i think i gave you three i think i need to start uh not skimp it out in the glasses, get bigger glasses. <laughs> it's it's a dram. I'm I'm not counting. I suppose. <laughs> I just sent some over to uh, France and Norway and like like you say, it's trying to find a good glass or a good bottle that you can actually send that's not gonna leak. Because I, I bought some off Amazon and they did I've sent them over to France and Norway and I don't think they're gonna hold, they don't look that good. Mm. Um but hopefully it'll try. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah, uh, parafilm is really good. Um, I use the electrical tape, uh, but parafilm yeah, yeah. is, I think, the, the best, uh, especially like if you're sending to anywhere that's cold, because uh, then the electrical tape will, will not really last and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, parafilm is is kind of the best way to do it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here, beginners. <laughs> what about cats? Um, 
Which is, my cat does. Is, was it Jasper? Jasper. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. As so, soon as he goes near whiskey, if you put it to his nose, he just freaks the hell out and runs away. <laughs> it's too strong for him to smell. Yeah, probably. I can imagine. Elaborate on illegal. Uh, I don't think that's the topic for a live show. <laughs> um, it's mostly, yeah, so like there's, there's rules and regulations around shipping um, alcoholic beverages and anything with alcohol in it and this goes for like if you're doing uh let's say vinegar or whatever it is like that has some kind of alcohol there, there's like rules around that so whoever you choose to ship with there they all would have different regulations so yeah just like just know if you're sending sending yeah. stuff that to be sure to look yeah. into that they're classed as a uh, dangerous goods uh, so yep. it's, it's basically they have to handle it with a certain level of care because if they spill it or damage it it could cause yeah, it's flammable. Damage to either them. Yeah, it's flammable. flammable that's it. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, hope, I hope that answers uh, the question. Yeah. Um, cool. So, uh, speaking of tote bags. Tote bags. What yes. Say? Should, we, uh, should we do a giveaway? Yes, definitely. I think someone else does there was one of these. I honestly think, I'm not just saying this because I'm on here, but I honestly think they're a brilliant idea. It's a great idea. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. I'm I'm glad you like it. It's been a um, there's been a really good response on the bags. Uh so I'm really I'm really happy with that. I'm I'm obsessed with tote bags. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's uh that was the reason for me. So my 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 previous job, uh, they had a thing for tote bags that so they would every every month or two months they would release a new kind of uh tote bag uh, swag for all the employees with a different print on it. There was like right. everyone's like rushed to to get every single version. So I ended yeah, up yeah. a shit ton of bags. Like <laughs> I've dialed back a little bit, so I only right now obviously I only have spirits people bags. But yeah, I use that a lot. <laughs> so what you're actually saying is you got a, a ton of black bags and you decided to use them and sell uh, not sell them but give them away. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they gave you. They gave you black bags, and you're just giving them away as your own. Yeah, you have to like erase the print and put a yeah, on yeah. <laughs> put your logo on them and say it's yours. Nice. Yeah, I guess you can. Um, I remember when um, I don't know if you guys did that when when I was a kid. You used the like the baking potatoes. You would cut them out, and you could put um, put them in paint, and then you can use them to print your own. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a bit old school for me, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Cla classic, classic. Uh, I think my, I think my mum, I think my mum done it once to uh, paint the wall, <laughs> <laughs> to put leaves on the wall or something. I'm pretty sure I remember doing it with a potato. Nice. All right, cool. So, uh, let's see. We have a short list. Yep. The from in between two and sixteen. So I'll show the list real quick. There we go. So any any number between two and sixteen, both numbers right. included, and I'll go ahead and randomize the list, and uh, I'll leave it up to you to pick the winner. Right. So I'm gonna go for five. Five. All right. Number five. Number five is a oh, very recent joiner, Jake's whiskey picks. Saw it. I wonder if he's watching. Nice one. I don't know if he's watching. I think he only just joined this oh, did week he? or last week. Um, so yeah, you, you joined once and you, you your name gets carried over. So I think he's um, he's fairly new. That's awesome. That's uh, yeah. that's random for you right there. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how it works, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Well, congratulations to him on the tote bag. I hope he enjoys it as much as I do. Yeah. All about the tumblers, giving a thumbs up. Cheers, man, for these uh, samples. This is uh, this was really fun. I, I really enjoyed these, or I really enjoyed this one. The other one was yes. a surprise. Yes. So, 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 I thought, I thought I'd give you, um, uh, kind of like if you, if you see a, a, an ugly chick with a, a decent-looking chick, the decent-looking chick looks a lot better because she's next mm. to the ugly chick. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just no, going to offend every, everybody tonight. And it's also good to do like a, a horizontal tasting, like two Bowmore whiskeys. It's, it's more interesting to try than, I mean, yeah. it would have been interesting to try this one with something else, but I think like it's good to see 
kind of the same distillery and like what are the yeah, type yeah. Of, um they release because i've as i said earlier it's like i haven't really had much uh from yeah. bomar so yeah it's it's really fun to see the range I they, think I think that's what's good. I mean, I could have given you could have given you like a bowl more and an hard bag or something like that. But like you're saying, it's, it's good to see two from the same distillery and see how much they actually vary. And I think that's good from a distillery standpoint to show that they can produce a wide range of whiskey and not just the same thing over and over that tastes all the same. Oh yeah, the sherry is sherry is just kind of like as it sits, it just keeps. Keeps getting darker. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think I finished mine a bit quicker than you did. <laughs> and that was me having a top off of the Black Rock as well. <laughs> well, I, I, I poured the whole thing, so those are those are decent drams for a, for a school night, you know? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? I can't right. wait to... Um, I am really intrigued to try the, the Mezcal. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm so intrigued to see what this is like. <laughs> yeah, man. So it's I'll give a, you a shout when I've, when I've tried that. It's a very, Mezcal is a very interesting uh, spirit. I'm, I'm reading a book right now about the history and, like, all of the processes and stuff like that. Um, it's, yeah, it's really fascinating because, like, there's, there are rules, but, like, there's, there's so many, like, there's endless opportunity because, like, the agave plant, like, there's so many different, variations of that right and like depending on where that agave plant sits like if it sits in the shade if it's, it sits in a rock yeah, or yeah, yeah somewhere else like in and exposed to sun like it will have a completely different impact on uh, that individual agave plant and there's like yeah. hundreds of them different kinds yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's so fascinating so yeah, yeah it's, it's, i suppose it's quite similar to whiskey in a sense with how things vary, like if it's got, if the still's got a longer neck, yeah. if it's been produced by the sea, you get a salt air, or if yeah. the water it's used, it's, there's so much variations which make it so interesting because you get so much, much more spirit. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, let me let me know what you think. Um, I have a definitely if you're if you're interested, and I'll, I'll probably buy some more as well because I'm I'm super fascinated. So uh... <laughs> that's good. I'll I'll keep them coming. All right, well, I think I need to go and uh, sleep off this drink. Um, like, <laughs> like I said, I was hella nervous, so I had some before, and now I've had more, and uh, I've hit the point where I've probably had too much. <laughs> it's all good, man. Thanks for joining, and, and uh, as, you can, as you can see, there's nothing to be, uh, be nervous about. No, you're right. I'm um, glad I've done it. I'm glad I've done it with you. It's, it's definitely helped instead of doing it on my own. It's, it's been a lot easier doing it with someone. So I awesome. appreciate that. All right, cool. And for everyone watching, uh, make sure to check out Stuart's uh, YouTube reviews. I'm sure there'll be plenty new reviews to come. So yeah, yeah. go and check them out. Definitely. And, All right, well, uh, thanks a lot and have a good night. Yeah, you too, man. All right, thanks everyone for joining. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this episode of Spirits People Live. For more videos, check out spiritspeople.com. Subscribe on YouTube and be sure to follow us on Instagram where we connect you with spirits people worldwide.